This forbidden anime begins with Mizuki, a hardworking and caring little bro to two beautiful girls, Emma and Ruka. Emma is a girl who is admired by many for her leadership and intelligence. However, at home, Emma is very different. She depends on Mizuki for a lot of things and often asks for his help with everyday tasks. She loves him a lot and is always kind and affectionate towards him. Ruka, on the other hand, is cheerful and smart. Many people admire her for her friendly nature and academic success. However, at home, Ruka treats Mizuki very differently. She acts like he's her minion and often bosses him around, expecting him to do whatever she wants. Ruka is also jealous of Emma because she feels that Emma has a closer relationship with Mizuki. This jealousy makes Ruka act out and sometimes even become savage towards Mizuki when he makes mistakes. Despite their differences, both Emma and Ruka share a common concern, Mizuki has gotten himself a girlfriend. One evening, while Mizuki is folding the laundry, Emma comes into the room wearing only a towel. She starts looking through the laundry basket for her undergarments and asks Mizuki if he knows where they are. Mizuki is shocked and embarrassed to see her in such a state, but Emma doesn't seem to mind at all. She brushes off his discomfort, reminding him that they are at home and there's nothing to be embarrassed about. Emma then pokes fun at Mizuki, making him blush even more. She thanks him for all his hard work and tells him that she and Ruka wouldn't be able to live without him. Emma also points out that Mizuki isn't the little boy he used to be, hinting at the fact that he's grown up and even has a girlfriend now. Mizuki shyly reminds her that he is indeed in a relationship with Yuka, who is set to become the next student council president after Emma. Ruka bursts into the house, loudly complaining about being hungry and not having any food ready for her. She throws her bag at Mizuki, hitting him in the face, and scolds him for not preparing her meal. She insists that she had told him when she would be home and expected him to have food ready. Mizuki checks his phone and realizes he missed Ruka's messages. He apologizes, explaining that he was busy talking with Emma, but Ruka is not happy with his excuse. She steps on him and prepares to teach him a lesson. Ruka makes Mizuki get down on all fours, then sits on his back like he's a horse, slapping him harshly while telling him that he must always obey her. Mizuki tries to stand up for himself and comments on her weight, which deeply offends Ruka. She gets angry and runs off to her room, feeling hurt and humiliated. Later, Mizuki looks through his phone and finds some pictures of Emma and Ruka. Meanwhile, he has a phone call with his girlfriend, Yuka, who talks about how lucky he is to live with the two most popular girls at school. Mizuki doesn't see what the big deal is and continues with his chores. As he passes by Emma's room, he hears cultural sounds coming from inside. Behind the door, Emma tries out new recipes and makes her sandwich. However, she seems to be missing an important ingredient, something that is high in protein she reckons. The next day, Mizuki and his girlfriend spend time together, earning scrutinizing looks from Emma and Ruka. They eat lunch alone on the rooftop, which ends up in them having a mukbang. Mizuki tries out her sandwich and wants to add his pickle for more flavor, but Yuka stops him and says she'll just have it as a side dish before they go home. Despite being busy, Mizuki makes time to meet up with Yuka after school. As Mizuki waits for her, he recalls his relationship with her when they first started dating. He then receives a text from Yuka, assuring him that their student council meeting is almost done. Mizuki visits Emma at the student council office, and she asks Mizuki why he's still at the school so late. Mizuki asks if their meeting is over, but Emma is confused and tells him they didn't have a student council meeting that day. She helps Mizuki look for Yuka but suddenly warns him not to enter the classroom she was looking in. Inside, a boy helps Yuka make her sandwich as they try to keep quiet about it. Yuka tries her senpai's pickle to have a taste before adding it to her sandwich. Yuka mentions that she'll be putting vegetables in her sandwich for the first time and says she's happy it's with him. They continue to make sandwiches in the classroom, and Yuka's senpai tops their dish off with some organic mayo. Mizuki doesn't bother to confront Yuka and walks back home dejectedly with Emma. Later that night, Emma knocks on his door and comforts him with her twin personalities. She tells Mizuki that he doesn't need to act strong and cope with the situation by himself. Mizuki begins to cry in Emma's embrace, and Emma tells him it's okay since she'll always care for him. 
They start having a mukbang in Mizuki's room, and Emma eagerly rubs Mizuki's pickle jar in anticipation. She takes a pickle out of his jar to prepare it while Mizuki taste tests Emma's sandwich fillings. After Mizuki's pickle is prepared, Emma gets ready to have veggies in her sandwich for the first time. They proceed to make sandwiches for their midnight snack, and Emma makes sure Mizuki forgets his heartbreak. When their dish is complete, they top it off with mayonnaise and a dash of pickle juice. In the morning, Ruka complains to Mizuki that she's going to be late. Mizuki apologizes for waking up late and hands Ruka her lunch. Emma comments that Ruka is always in a rush, and is relieved that Mizuki is feeling better. Mizuki suddenly gets flustered when he looks at Emma, and Emma tells him to relax otherwise he'll come off as suspicious. Emma gets flashbacks from their midnight snack, putting her in a daze. She suddenly snaps out of it and tells Mizuki to forget everything that happened the night before. Emma explains that she only wanted to comfort him and make him feel better. She declares that whatever they did is over and tells him to find another girlfriend. Before she leaves, Emma says it's their own little secret and reminds him to be careful at school. When Mizuki arrives at school, Yuka asks him what happened yesterday since they were supposed to meet up. Mizuki lies that something urgent came up, and Yuka offers to go home together later. Mizuki sees Emma in the hall and follows her, telling Yuka he has to do something. When Mizuki catches up with her, he looks at the wrapped sandwich she's hiding under her skirt. Emma notices and covers her sandwich, scolding him that it isn't the right place. Mizuki grabs her hand and takes her away to the storeroom. Emma asks why Mizuki brought her there, but she turns around to see Mizuki preparing a picnic. He tells her that he can't stop thinking about their culinary bonding last night. Emma explains that it would be bad if they kept making sandwiches together and tells him to find a new girlfriend. Mizuki replies that if he keeps experiencing heartbreaks in the future, he'd rather throw away the idea of having a girlfriend and bond with Emma instead. He walks closer to Emma and places his vegetable next to her sandwich. He insists that Emma is the one for him, but Emma thinks he's being delusional. Mizuki argues that she was the one who gave him comfort, but Emma replies that she was only worried about him. The storeroom door suddenly opens and Emma stands behind a garbage bin. She's asked what she's doing inside, and Emma lies that she was there to look around after being told it was a mess. When Emma asks in return what the girl is doing in the storeroom, Mizuki wastes no time and digs into Emma's sandwich. Emma tries to keep her composure as she speaks with the girl and gives her an assignment so she can leave the storeroom. When the girl leaves, Mizuki finishes up Emma's sandwich, causing her to give him water in case he's thirsty. They move their picnic somewhere else, and Emma reminds him that they're still on campus. As she reprimands Mizuki, they hear girls' laughter approaching them. Girls enter the bathroom and hear someone showering, then see Emma's head peek out from one of the stalls. The girls happily approach Emma and ask what happened, and Emma lies that she got sweaty while cleaning. While talking with the girls, Mizuki is still hungry and goes in for a second round of Emma's sandwich. The girls point out that Emma has been blooming lately and suspect that a boyfriend may be behind it. Emma shrugs their suspicions off, and Mizuki suddenly digs into the sandwich to pick at the fillings. Emma flinches and the girls make their way out. When they're gone, Emma pulls Mizuki away and scolds him for his actions while other students are around. Mizuki doesn't listen and proceeds to devour more sandwiches with her. Emma annoyingly shoves him away with an evil look on her face. She reprimands Mizuki in the student council office and argues with him. The door suddenly opens and Emma tries to act normal. When she sits back down, Mizuki is like a starving animal and goes after her sandwich again. The guy, Mickey, discusses their fan club disbanding, and Emma thanks him for his work. He replies that it's his duty as her boyfriend and suggests it would be better if she got a real one. Mickey talks to her about the younger girl she asked him to take care of and mentions that she was a newbie and has a boyfriend. Emma quickly dismisses him, and she's pulled back from the desk. Mizuki makes sandwiches with her, replenishing all the ones he's eaten. With the finishing touches of mayo and pickle juice, they wrap up their culinary session. Ruka comes home and yells about not having a meal again, then realizes that Mizuki is nowhere around. When she changes in her room, Mizuki suddenly enters, startling Ruka. Mizuki is blunt and asks Ruka about Emma's boyfriend, Miki. As Mizuki sneaks into Emma's room at night, 
he recalls Ruka informing him that Miki isn't Emma's real boyfriend. Mizuki ties Emma's wrists together and prepares the pickle for her. When Emma wakes up, she gets nervous and asks Mizuki to untie her. Mizuki confronts her about what she did to Yuka. Emma tries denying anything related to her, but as Mizuki gives her more pickles, she reveals she simply instructed others to take care of Yuka but wasn't informed of what they do to her. Mizuki angrily teaches Emma a stern lesson and vows to make her his minion by taking pictures of her as cultural leverage. Subscribe for more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like, it really helps the channel.